What's up, guys? Welcome to another UFC Quick Picks here on the Mayo Media Network. Hope you enjoyed the week off because we are back with UFC Sao Paulo this weekend. Zhao Tin Almeida versus Derek Lewis in the main event. 13 fights on the slate and should be a fun one. As always, I'm going to give you my favorite uh, DraftKings cash game play, tournament play, salary play, and a matchup of the week. Before I do, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment below. Give me your favorite underdog this week. I think that's where the money's going to be made. I'm um, expecting a lot of big scores, a lot of big favorites on this card, so you're going to really have to differentiate yourself below the mid-range uh, if you want to stand out from the crowd. Let's get to my cash game play of the week. It's going to be Elvis Brenner at 8.2K. All right, in cash games, I'm rolling with the value here in Elvis Brenner at 8.2K. I'm not a huge fan of him in particular, and I'm not even like so confident he wins this fight, but he's fighting Kanan Kruchuski on just a couple days' notice. This fight with Esteban Rebovic just fell out, and Kruchuski stepping in on Wednesday, I think. Um... Brenner is minus 186 to win. He's only priced at 8.2K, so he's definitely a bit of a value. He should be priced around uh, 8.6K or so. So, you know, some significant savings there, especially from a cash game perspective. Brenner's also shown to be pretty tough and durable, which I like. He won a decision over Zabair Tukhogov. He recently knocked out Grim Kutataladze. He was a big underdog in both of those spots, and long term, I'm not that high on Elvis Brenner, but... Um, he, you know, he's shown he has the cardio to go the distance. He's got some pop in his hands, competent striker, came into the UFC more as a submission grappler and probably as a wrestling advantage here against Kruchuski, who I consider more of like a Muay Thai aggressive striker. And in that sense, I think Kruchuski could win. And in tournaments, if Brenner's projecting to be the chalk and Kruchuski the leverage side, I would definitely look to Kruchuski at 7.7K. I think he can win this fight if it plays out on the feet. Brenner was hurt by Kutata Ladze before he ended up winning by knockout. So there's definitely a path to victory there, but um, Kuchuski's been knocked out before too. He's been hurt before too. Brenner probably has wrestling upside. 8.2K, it's good value there as a minus 186 favorite. So he will be my cash game play of the week. Moving on to tournaments. I'm going to give out Eduarda Mora at 9.4K. This 9K range is insanely good. Um, there's no right or wrong answer here. Obviously, Xiao Tenameda will be extremely popular. I think Gabriel Bonfim will gain a lot of attention. Other strong fighters in the 9K range as well. I like Eduardo Mora. I think she might be a little bit overlooked here, making her UFC debut against Montserrat Ruiz Canejo. Canejo Ruiz. Uh, she's minus 633 to win. And she's a, she's a good grappler. She's a good grappler, a good athlete. Definitely fought a low level of competition, though. I have questions about Mora's game long term. Level of competition, cardio, striking, typical things you see from a grappling based finisher coming off the regional scene. But M Montserrat Canejo Ruiz is, is not good, and her game is mostly based on head and arm throws. And we've seen recently her defensive grappling is not strong she just was dominated on the ground by Jacqueline Amarim um I, I know she ended up on top in certain situations there but she doesn't really have a, a great wrestling base and when she gets taken down she gives up a lot of position I think Moore is going to take her down and when she takes her down she probably advances position lands ground and pound I think there's a good chance that Moore can win inside the distance she is minus 150 to win inside the distance Though there is risk, I think she has a very, very high ceiling in this particular matchup, and she might be lower owned, considering we have some elite fighters in this range. So it's not as if you're getting 40% Mora. She may be like, she may not even be 20% owned at this particular price, because when people pay up this this far, they're paying up to Jalten Almeida or, or Bonfim, I think, for the most part. So I'm really interested in the pivot Mora there on DraftKings this week. High grappling upside, and I think she gets the job done. And finally, my matchup of the week. I'm rolling with Armin Petrosian versus Rodolfo Vieira, another striker versus grappler there. It's a near pick em on the betting line. Um, Vieira is obviously the grappling ace. Petrosian, the world, quote, world champ, kickboxer, Muay Thai specialist. And if this fight plays out on the feet, Petrosian should wipe Vieira out. I know Vieira's looked better recently, but Petrosian's just far more technical, throws more volume, more durable. And uh, maybe Vieira survives, but Petrosian's definitely winning that. Probably knocks him out. Um, Vieira's going to shoot for takedowns. Probably gets them early. 
Petrosian defends at 36%. This fight's really interesting because Petrosian, even before he came into the UFC, was known as this guy who would just get kind of dominated on the ground, survive, come back and win. And that's how his UFC career has been a lot of the time too. He's given up takedowns to pretty much every single opponent and he's won pretty much every single fight. Um, 36% takedown defense is really bad though and I have to project Vieira to land takedown. So ultimately I think Vieira takes him down early gets on the back, and probably finds a submission. But Petrosian does a really good job of surviving. He survived 15 minutes against Kyle Bahio. He does a good job scrambling up to his feet. And I'm just, I think there's a real chance that Petrosian can make Vieira work for stand-up exchanges and, and win himself. So Petrosian has win equity. He has knockout upside. Vieira's got the better inside the distance line, more grappling upside, the cheaper price tag, 7.9K. He's my preferred target, but... I think you need exposure to both sides. Uh, Petrosian definitely has knockout equity there. Good fight to target in the mid-range. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this week's UFC Quick Picks. Thank you so much for the support. You can follow me on Twitter, Brad Appley, double T, double P, dailyfanmma.com for all your DraftKings breakdowns needs. Thank you so much for the support. Best of luck in your contest this week. We'll talk to you all soon. Bye, everybody.